Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossbury in BL tonight. First up, we got Jamaica's, you know, biggest pharmacy here. You know, the huge one. That's Fontana Limited. The board of directors here declaring a dividend. This was done at a special board of directors meeting. Uh, usually dividends are at, you know, the ordinary meetings, you know, the scheduled ones, but this was a special one. Uh, so that's September 29th, uh, 2020. It was declared, it's a nice one. Uh, Jamaican eight cents per share. Uh, that's an interim dividend. It's gonna be paid uh, quite a bit of ways from now, November 25th, 2020. Um, and although it's kind of worded as interim, well, you know, what the release says or the board says is that it's the final dividend for the year ended June 30th, 2020. And it was a good one for Fontano. Next up, we've got Jamaican Teas, ticker symbol Jam Tea. Now it's a board meeting update here or an advisory on the board meeting. So this advisory goes into, you know, a previous notice that was sent out. So the advisory goes on to say that October 7th, 2020, uh, the Jam Tea board is gonna meet to consider a new record date for the subdivision of the company shares. The release goes on to say that this is just kind of updating because this was previously announced in Jam Tea's notice to shareholders dated as far back as January 29th, 2020 and of course as a lot of these releases are saying which you know on business live we really like to see it's subject to the approval of the shareholders of the company great to see now the big news we carried you know the huge news from ncb financial group earlier this week and now Barita Investments, another financial house in the market, making continued waves. You know, we've been talking about lots of companies, NCB Financial, upsizing, you know, their diversified payments, uh, securities, you know, 250 million US. Uh, you know, we talked about Supreme Ventures doing deal after deal, but Barita Investments now coming out, not just with a successful APO, a new investor here taking up, you know, during the APO clearly. So first, Citizens Investments taking up a 5% stake uh, in Burrito, uh, you know, at this valuation. So following the successful close of the additional public offer, the APO, uh, FCIS, and uh, just to make it fully clear, which is a wholly owned subsidiary, fully owned sub of First Citizens Bank in Trinidad and Tobago, now owns 5% in Burrito. So congrats there. Uh, great to see, you know, new investors in the stock market, top 10 list there of Burrito Investments. Now, Grace Kennedy, also huge news announcing some executive changes, quite a number of changes. We can't cover all of them tonight on Business Live. But the big thing, the headline news is they're creating a mergers and acquisitions unit. Um, you know, it's better late than never. This is great to see. You know, we've said for a number of times, you know, on Business Live, we want to see Grace, you know, wake up, smell that coffee, get it going. You know, we've even now seen Don Webby's Instagram page come into life, exciting times. It's probably going to help the stock price as well. So Grace Kennedy, these ex executive changes are effective October 1st, 2020. The most notable one here, or let's say a few notable ones, Andrew, you know, Leo Riney is now going to head up the group's mergers and acquisitions unit. Douglas Robinson uh, is now going to be the acting managing director MD at GK Capital. So exciting stuff. You know, look at the press release uh, for this. It's on jamstockx.com. You can see, you know, all the changes in the executives. Um, you know, they've been doing this every, let's say, six or 12 months, uh, probably once a year or so. There's been some executive changes, uh, you know, and shaking up things there at GK. Last up, QWI Investments, um, updated net asset value. Hasn't changed too much. You know, the market is sideways in fairness to QWI. Being around a dollar three cents, dollar four cents or so. Now it's pulled back a little bit here. This is the NAV, you know, a dollar per share here. This is as at September 25th, 2020. I'm Mark Crosscree. This is Business Live.